Okay, Sagittarius, I hope you all are doing well. Um, this is going to be a general reading for your next surprise. Okay, so what do we have going on for Sagittarius for their next surprise? The next surprise coming to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I do have personals open for a limited time. Um, you know, just considering that the holidays are coming up and the birth of my baby is coming up right after. <laughs> um, they're only open for a limited time. If you're interested in the details, uh, my email is down below. We can chat about, um, you know, what kind of readings I'm doing and, you know, what kind of questions you might ask, okay? Um, it goes over your next six months and a message from your guides, but you can, you know, add a topic of interest uh, depending on what that is, okay? So, um, there's certain things I won't answer questions about, so that's why I say that. Uh, anyhow, Sagittarius, list it down below if you're interested. So, okay. Mm -hmm. There's something that's going to catch your attention very, very soon. Um, you have this Ace of Wands here. So, um, for, for most of the signs, like there's not been a whole lot of, um, you know, hints towards timing or anything, but for a lot of you, I think this is going to be soon because you have the Ace of Wands right here. Something catches your attention and I feel like it catches your attention fast with the star showing up. This could be something that's really inspiring, um, you know, when it comes to work, when it comes to your hobbies, your visions. Um, a lot of you are going to be working on finances, maybe working on your credit. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles right here. We have Virgo. We have uh, Aquarius and we have fire energies here. We're going to clarify a little bit as well. It's almost like there's something that inspires. Okay, some of you, there's some kind of information that comes in. You're like, oh, I didn't know that, you know, I was eligible for that. Or I didn't know that I could do that. I didn't know that, you know, somebody's giving you some kind of information that's like, yes, I would definitely be interested in doing that. So you're looking into that. Like that's something that's becoming a focus for you. It could be a move. Um, what's going on here? With the star. I only say that because of the star. That can be a, de a new destination. Um, some of you, you're realizing there's a job opening that's like perfect for you here. The tower. Ooh, the seven of swords. My goodness. And the ten of pentacles. Yeah. You're like, that's a steal of a deal. You know, there's something here with the tower and the seven of swords. You're like, I'm going to take that before someone else does. Um, ooh. Or I'm going to protect that before someone takes it from me. For, for a lot of you, you're going to be setting boundaries with a person you've had an ending with. The tower here is telling me you've already had an ending with someone here. There's been some kind of decep uh, yeah, some kind of betrayal, deception that went on here with the Seven of Swords energy. Ten of Pentacles, though. Ten of Pentacles is a really, really good card for money, Sagittarius. So I feel like there is something big coming in regarding finances. I want to get more on this. Whoever this person is, it's like, you know they're a liar, but you're not fully aware of how how they're blocking this Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Oh my goodness. Some of you, that Ten of Pentacles is a lifelong partner, like power couple energy, somebody you could build a legacy with. Yeah, you have the King of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups, you have the Magician showing up here. I feel like there's going to be a message from a really important person with the King of Wands and the Magician. This is going to be someone who's very skilled or they know your skills. They know their way around the block, around the business, whatever it is that you're wanting to do here. They know exactly, you know, what that is and they know how to navigate that and how to teach you how to navigate that. But I feel like it's got to take your focus off of this individual over here, which feels very messy and shady. You know, it almost feels like you already know that that's over. Eight of Cups, like I said, I feel like you've already walked away from this, but you're still connected to this person on some level. Whether that just means that you watch them or they watch you or you check up on one another here and there. Um, I feel like you're still connected to someone here, Sagittarius. This could even be a toxic family member. What What is this Seven of Swords and Tower about? A lot of you, I feel like this opportunity is going to be a business, okay? Um, or something involving uh, like sales, something like that here. King of Wands can be an entrepreneur. You have the Empress here. Okay, so a female could have gotten in the way here, um, or you're the female involved. A female was definitely involved here. Some kind of over-nurturing, yeah, Princess of Cups, over-nurturing of something, and um, yeah, Ace of Cups. So much love here, you know, so almost too much, almost too much. Ace of Cups, Princess of Cups, uh, Empress, you know, too much nurturing, um, I feel, like over-nurturing, the lovers, the Six of Pentacles, over-giving. Somebody was just not giving here. That's how this feels. Somebody was not giving what was needed. King of Swords, and I feel like somebody lost feelings, and I feel like that somebody was you, okay? Um, 
Okay, no, it's not that you quite lost feelings. I think that maybe you lost compassion. Maybe you lost patience. You lost patience with someone here. And I feel like you used that sword to cut this energy out. And that star card could also be you healing from that. But I mainly feel like this is a new destination, a new journey that you're going to be really excited to go down. And it's going to lead you to that Ten of Pentacles if you can cut out this energy over here, which you already know they're a liar, they're a thief, okay? Some of you, that Empress, for a small portion of you, and that Seven of Swords energy, um, that Empress could have been what caused the issue, okay? That Empress could have been a third party here. Um, even if that's just like, you know, uh, somebody meddling in your business. It doesn't have to mean that there was like some kind of cheating. Of course, it could have definitely gone on, but I just wanted to make you aware of that. Mainly, I think this is manipulation. Somebody telling you, you know, I'm going to change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, this is what we're going to, this is the life we're going to have together, but there's no effort towards that, right? Or there's something that we're supposed to stop doing and they didn't stop doing it, right? Could be something like that here, but I think that you know this person is a liar and when this um, other person comes in, um, this important person, um, I feel like there's going to be a face-to-face -face meeting with them about the next chapter, okay? And it could be a lover, but it really feels like this is somebody who's introducing you to an opportunity they know that you're perfect for, they know that you're um, interested in. And for a lot of you, I feel like this person's going to stick their neck out for you, like they know you're good for it, you know? And I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of financial success, a lot of financial stability. So I love to see that, Sagittarius. Um, I read over on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. I have another channel for those of you interested in personals. My email's down below. Everything you need should be down below. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you.